Hello, my name's Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to properly operate the coolant exchanger machine, which allows for simple, rapid coolant exchange in a vehicle. Before we get started, let's take a look at the tools we're going to need. Please wear safety goggles and gloves for eye and hand protection during the entire procedure. Try to work in a well-ventilated area or, if possible, pipe the exhaust to an outside area. Keep tools and hoses clear from all moving parts and inspect the vehicle for fluid leaks, damaged hoses or belts, engine noise, or any unsafe conditions. Inspect service equipment for any damage or loose components. Before we begin, you are going to need the coolant exchanger machine, the coolant, and the appropriate cooling system kit. Use a fender cover to protect the vehicle's finish from scratches or spills. Use a shop drain pan to catch coolant spillage. Never leave vehicle unattended during the coolant service. Warning: Coolant and vapors within a cooling system may be extremely hot and can cause severe burns. Extreme care should be used and proper protection worn when accessing the vehicle's cooling system. The hot fluid within the system may also be under pressure. Relieve all pressure and let the vehicle cool down to ambient temperature before opening hot cooling systems. Determine the coolant capacity of the vehicle by using the cooling system specification manual. Remove the cap from the new fluid tank on the machine. Then add the correct amount and type of coolant mixture to the new coolant tank and replace the tank cap. Attach the machine to the vehicle's 12 volt battery by connecting the machine's red battery clip to the positive battery terminal and the black battery clip to the negative battery terminal. The green power light should turn on. On the machine, point the service selector handle to the EVAC service position. Connect the unit's clear service hose located on the left side of the machine to the used coolant tank or specified waste container or drum. Connect the open-ended adapter hose to the end of the unit's black vacuum service hose located on the right side of the machine's chassis. Locate and remove the vehicle's overflow tank hose, a small black tube usually located on the side of the radiator fill neck. Connect the open-ended black vacuum hose to the radiator overflow nipple at the radiator fill neck and turn the unit's service pump toggle switch to the on position. Note, prior to removing cap, always follow the vehicle's manufacturer's directions or instructions printed on the top of the radiator cap. Using gloves or a shop towel, slowly loosen radiator cap to the first safety notch, allowing system pressure to be diverted out of the overflow nipple on the fill neck and into the machine's black vacuum hose for removal. With the unit's service pump switch still in the on position, carefully remove the radiator cap. Remove the machine's open-ended vacuum hose from the overflow nipple and reattach the vehicle's overflow tank hose to the nipple and secure. Locate and remove cap from vehicle's overflow tank, if equipped, and insert the open-ended hose to evacuate the used coolant. Once the overflow tank or the remote fill tank are empty, Turn the unit service pump switch to the off position. Place a drain pan under the vehicle to contain any coolant spills. Attach pinch pliers to upper radiator hose halfway between radiator and engine block. The service selector handle should still be pointing toward the evac service position. Insert the machine's open-ended adapter hose into the radiator fill neck and evacuate fluid until coolant level has dropped below the upper hose fitting on the radiator. Note: On large systems, retain this fluid in an external container to use for topping off system prior to actual fluid exchange. Disconnect the open-ended adapter from the black vacuum hose to prevent siphoning and disconnect the clear hose from the used tank. Loosen the hose clamp and disconnect the vehicle's upper radiator hose from the radiator. Locate the proper size male radiator adapters, then install them into the open end of the vehicle's radiator hose. 
Secure with the proper size hose clamp from the radiator kit. Then connect the white adapters to the black male radiator adapters. Make sure the white adapter locks in place. Locate the second male radiator adapter of the same color as before and install onto the radiator hose neck at the radiator using the proper 3 inch cut hose and hose clamp from the radiator kit. Then connect the second white adapter to the black male radiator adapter. Make sure the white adapter locks in place. Tighten all clamps securely and verify that the adapters are secure. Note, do not use pinch or squeeze type hose clamps during fluid exchange process. Use only worm gear screw type clamps. Locate the clear loop hose on the back of the machine. Connect the loop hose to the plugs on both white adapters. Remove the pinch pliers from the upper radiator hose. Then using the small pinch pliers, pinch off the vehicle's overflow hose between the radiator overflow nipple and the radiator overflow tank. Add coolant flush product. Then, if necessary, top off using the used coolant saved earlier. Reinstall the vehicle's radiator cap securely. Note, before starting engine, check that all hose adapters, tools, and towels are clear of the vehicle's moving components and exhaust system. Turn blower fan to the low position. Switch the vehicle's heater control valve to the full on position. Start the vehicle's engine and check all connections for leaks. If leaks are found, turn off engine and repair before continuing. Allow engine to operate until thermostat opens and coolant can be seen flowing through the loop hose. Note, this is the direction of coolant flow on most vehicles. On some vehicles, the coolant may flow in the opposite direction. Turn the service selector handle so that the handle is pointing toward the flush service position. Note, on large vehicles with systems holding more than 24 quarts, a drum should be used to collect the used coolant to avoid overflowing the waste container. Turn the vehicle's engine off. Caution, the upper radiator hose adapters and fittings will be hot. Use a shop towel and or gloves to protect from injury. Disconnect the loop hose from the white adapters. Connect the machine's clear service hose to the adapter which is connected to the radiator. Place and secure the clear drain hose to the used coolant tank or specified waste container or drum. Then connect the other end to the male radiator hose adapter. Note, if the vehicle is one of which the coolant flows in the opposite direction, invert the hoses. Turn the service pump switch to the on position. At this time, the machine may begin pumping new coolant to the vehicle's radiator. Immediately start the vehicle and the coolant displacement exchange will begin. During the coolant exchange, as the vehicle's thermostat opens and closes, the machine will automatically cycle on and off to protect the system from overpressurization. When the service complete light and buzzer come on, immediately turn off the vehicle's engine. This indicates that the fluid exchange process is complete. Turn the service pump switch to the off position. Carefully remove radiator cap so that you can view the coolant level in the radiator. When fluid level drains down below the upper radiator hose level, immediately disconnect both hoses from the male radiator adapters. Caution: If the used coolant drain hose is left connected, damage may occur to the vehicle due to excessive siphoning of coolant in the cooling system. Attach pinch pliers to upper radiator hose halfway between radiator and engine block. If additional fluid needs to be removed from radiator, insert machine's open-ended hose into the radiator fill neck and evacuate fluid until coolant level has dropped below the upper radiator hose fitting on radiator. One by one, remove both adapters from the vehicle. Then reattach the vehicle's upper radiator hose to the radiator. Tighten the hose clamp securely. Remove pinch pliers from radiator hose. Add radiator treatment to the radiator and verify if top-off is needed. 
Attach the open-ended adapter hose onto the clear service hose and insert hose into the radiator fill neck or overflow tank. Then push and hold the top off switch on the face panel to add extra coolant to either the radiator or the overflow tank. Start engine with radiator cap removed and allow coolant to circulate and purge any remaining air. Note, if any vehicle being serviced requires air bleeding procedures, refer to the manufacturer's service manual for proper directions. Recheck fluid levels, then reattach the radiator cap securely. Allow engine to operate three to four minutes and check for leaks before shutting off engine. Congratulations, you have just completed your training on the coolant exchanger machine. I'm your host, Ryan. Thank you very much for watching.